Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you trades number 134 and 135. And before we get started, I'm going to roll this disclaimer right here. So let's do that. I'm just a guy trading stocks. Don't take any of my advice. I'm just sharing my experience so that maybe it helps people problem solve through their own adventure in becoming a profitable day trader. So with that, let's get started. Today was a little bit of a wash for me, but I'm going to show you the live trades. We're going to dive into them a little bit. AMD has kind of been stuck today in sort of a range. I'm going to show you the live charts. I'm going to show you, even though the markets have closed, we'll kind of review the chart action just a little bit today. But I want to show you these live trades right off the bat. I caught them both. You can see, I'm getting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through exactly what I'm doing um, because I've been making a lot of changes to my trade management style and my overall trade plan. And I want to keep you up to date on what I'm doing. And then at some point, I'm going to put out a video where I show you my spreadsheet and how I backtest. This has been kind of a wild rabbit hole I've been down, and it's proving to be interesting and revealing a lot of things that I couldn't see before. So I think there's a lot of value in it. But what it's showing me right now is that when I get to 40 cents profit, I move my stop to break even. And then once I get to 63 cents profit, I move to a 1R to preserve it. And if the trade goes $1.25, which is 5R, in the first 15 minute bar, I take the trade off. If that doesn't happen, then I play it bar by bar after each successive 15 minute bar. So I know that's a lot, that was kind of a mouthful, but let's go ahead and let me just show you the trades, how they played out. So when I hit the play button, you're going to see I'm going to get triggered in here, and I actually had a pretty good fill-up. The notifications came back quickly. Everything was pretty smooth. Yesterday was really frustrating, but today was a little better. So you can see I'm short 1,400 shares with a $350 R. Now, I'm short at 91.44 or 91.45, and I'm just looking to get to 40 cents. If I get there, I'll move my stop, which is right here, to break even. So this one just kind of hung around and didn't really even go green very often. It, it was like a hint of green in the beginning, and then it just sort of gave it up and bounced up. It was a fairly quick stop out. You can see I went green for just a second there. I thought we were going to break that low, the pre-market, and get rolling, but we didn't. So you can see right there that I went ahead and, and stopped out and got a really nice fill um, being stopped out at 91.69 and actually caught, uh, I guess, reverse slippage in my favor. So $340 loser instead of 350. So then moving on, we'll move to the long trade for the day. So on this one, I'm looking to take the high of this candle plus 10 cents. That's what I was looking at today. And I get long here. You're gonna see another pretty good fill. Get long there, a really quick fill. That was actually a one lot. That was a 1400 share fill like that, which with toss, seems to never happen. Now I'm long 1,400 shares at 92.40, so I'm gonna keep playing. You can see I went red for a quick second and then it lurches up pretty good. And what I'm doing here now is I'm go ahead and I'm gonna put in the edit for my stop loss because I wanna move this thing as soon as I see 40 cents profit. So I hit play, waiting for it, and, one, and 40 cents is about 1.6 R. So I'm watching, I've got my order confirmation window, and I've had people ask why I don't drag the actual bubble, and you'll see in this one I'm actually gonna do that, I'm gonna try that out today. So this is for all of you who I drive crazy by not dragging the bubble. So we're profitable now, we're back in the hundreds, two hundreds, kinda hanging around. This one's looking good, I like that lower wick, and I like that it bounced off this support level, and now we're moving higher. So as we get higher into the three hundreds, I'm getting ready to fire this thing off to move it. Back red for a quick second, but then right back to the 400s. And what happens is I fire off this order, but because I have a target attached to it, it didn't work. I guess TOS doesn't allow you to modify that way because it just sort of disregarded it. And you'll see that in just a second. Kind of hangs around for a while. I didn't know if it was going to push past the half dollar or just kind of get chewed up and, and beat up at the half dollar and then sag back down. I really thought for a second this was gonna become a, a two R loser day. But it pops up, we start getting there, and I tried to fire that off, but it clearly didn't move it. So 
I'm watching this thing again, and I actually think I give it another go here. But in the meantime, if you watch the P&L, I get up to $1,100 profit at some point, and I thought, oh man, this is really looking good. So it's not working, not working, so I realize I have to drag it. So first of all, I'm just kind of messing with it to test it to see if I can drag it and how it works, and it is working. So then I'm waiting for this thing just to keep pushing up 63 cents, and if it does, then I'll go ahead and move it to 1R. And you can see right there, I moved it to 1R. So I got my 63 cents, which is 2.5R. Once 2.5R happens, I move to 1R so that I can preserve at least 1R out of this. So I'm gonna let it run, hoping it'll pop back up and keep moving, but ultimately it breaks down, stops me out, I take a $336 winner. So as you can see, this was a total wash for me today. I took the 1R loser, the 1R winner, I did log it in my spreadsheet, which I'm gonna show you guys at some point here soon, and logged a neutral break-even day. But I do wanna hop over to the chart real quick because I wanna show you what ended up happening. So you can see I got stopped out on this candle here. It got me, but then as you can see, it popped up a little and then dropped all the way down. So if I wouldn't have moved my stop loss to a 1R profit after I got to 2.5R on the P&L, I would have ultimately lost this trade. It's a modification I'm making, and just to review it one more time, because it's a kind of a lot to throw at you in one short video. When I get 40 cents profit, which is 1.6R on the P&L, I move to break even. Then after that, if I see 2.5R on the P&L, which is a 63 cent gain, then I'll move to 1R. And then ultimately, if the first bar, if it goes 5R, I automatically close the trade. If it doesn't go 5R and it doesn't stop me out and the next candle opens, then I play it bar by bar. And if you're not sure how I've been trading things bar by bar, I'll post a video up here and you can watch that and that kind of shows you a little bit about what I've been up to in terms of bar by bar management strategy. I feel like I'm really honing in on how to best manage this trade for me and my trading style. I had a couple people comment about how they took a couple losers, they said they were newer traders and they lost a couple of trades using this strategy. And again, I have to recommend that nobody use this strategy unless you back test it 100 times. We all take entries differently, so you've gotta make sure that you're taking your entry 100 times in the simulator to make sure that it's actually producing the results that you want because you and I pull the trigger differently. It's, it's different for every person. And I have to say that conditions change. You know, I've been kind of messing around with a five cent entry, you know, five cents above the high and a 10 cent entry. I've also been messing with my management style. So no one watching these videos knows completely what I'm up to. I don't even know if I know what I'm completely up to, but you gotta make sure that you're testing things 100 times. Don't just dive into this because you saw me do it. You gotta make sure that you're doing your own due diligence to test it, to make sure it works for you. And then if it does, start really small as you, as you um, ease into the market. So with that, drop a comment below. Let me how you know how your day went. I hope you were green. I hope you caught some big runners. There was some stuff moving around today. So let me know how that went, and we'll see you tomorrow.